Real New Era. Run that. The Real Mojo checking in, man. 104 to beat. I Heart Radio. Man, y'all go check out my new single, Surf On Em. And y'all get in tune with DJ New Era ASAP, man. She got a way. She got a way. She want me to serve on her. She, she got a way. Me to All right, back again. iHeartRadio, New Era TV, another exclusive interview. I almost had to cuss my camera guy out, man, Um, 30 minutes late, but we good. A3 Entertainment on the film. I got in the building today, man. Somebody real exciting, up-and-coming artist. Been doing it for about, I want to say about six years now, right? Am yeah, I correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. Got two mixtapes out right now, hosted by my brother, DJ Frank White, called The Comeback. Yes, sir. One and two on live mixtapes right now. He's from Opelika? Yes, sir. Opelika, Alabama. Opelika, Alabama, man. The real mojo is in the building. Yeah, you know what happening, man. What's going on with you, man? Shoot, man, just grinding, man. You know the grind don't stop, man. You Iced know. out, I see you. A little bit. You Life know, is good, to get man. There. Yes, sir. COVID man. ain't slowing down now, right? Nah, man. Got to keep grinding, man. Got to keep recording. To the yes, fullest, so, to the man. fullest. So how'd you come up with the name The Real Mojo? Because when I heard The Real, I'm thinking it's like a bunch of copycats out there. Yeah, man. Basically what happened is my boy Cool, you know, he used to call himself Swag. You feel me? I used to call myself Mojo. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And basically we just got old and I was like, well, I ain't never saying Swag no more. I'm on Mojo. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you just gonna call me Mojo. Then so I started dropping, you know, on the internet. Okay. And then I started seeing artists like Mojo 14 or some Mojo, just something different besides just Mojo. Mojo. So I was like, man. I gotta change that. So like two years ago, I thought about it. And I was like, I'm the real mojo. Like real folks gonna mojo. know I'm the real one. So you know you yeah. capitalize out that though, right? Yeah. You tell Instagram and Facebook, give you that blue check, man. Right, right, right. That'll right, cut right. all okay. the BS yeah, right yeah. there. Shout, man. Straight up, straight up. All right, so open like What's it like coming up in that area, man? Man, it it's all right, man. You know, we got a we got a nice, decent couple of artists out there, man. The only thing is, just like a lot of artists out there don't want to spend no money. You know, mm -hmm. don't want to put no money behind themselves. You know, so that basically the problem down that way. You know, so I I really just stay to myself and mess with the same people. You know, that want to you know spend some money. You know, invest mm -hmm. and get it popping instead of you know procrastinate. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. What was one situation that made you say I got to make it in the music industry? Being from being in Opelika. Man, I, I get when I really just seeing my mama sick, you know what I'm saying, before she passed away, like, just, you know, being there and taking care of her every day and just seeing her, you know, on her last limb just made me feel like I need to do something with my life. Like, I need to use my talent. I need to stop procrastinating. I need to stop working the nine to five and mm -hmm. get on my grind. Yeah, yeah so. Right. You got any kids? Yeah, I got two. Got two? Yeah, boy and a girl, yeah. By the same lady? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, see you in the building, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's official then. Look, I ain't gonna yeah. put on the mic. No, he ain't camera shy, is it? No, no. Okay, no. alright, we're gonna talk about that video in a minute, though. <laughs> alright, so open like and then you move to Montgomery. Nah, basically, I be in the gum. Yeah, okay. I be in the gump a lot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they'll, you know, in and out, probably messing with Frank if he ain't at work, you know what I'm saying? Just talking it up or whatever I gotta do, you know, just basically telling me to stay consistent, you know what I'm saying? Like, far as I finna do you know i got an ep coming next wednesday you know it's oh. built it really like the single is it's called built not born so it's gonna be like seven songs on that but they all smash okay. you know smash. everybody been asking me for new music you yeah, know what we're I'm gonna yeah. talk about that single man uh surf on the yeah the bass who who mixed it though we're gonna talk about man that. i mixed that man so you yeah, do all I that do all, yeah so in-house so you, you budgeting yeah, right now <laughs> yeah we legit this way man. yeah so what's your work ethic like based in in your in your area um, basically just trying to get everybody to get on if you want to do this for real you got to spend money you know what i'm saying you got to stop downloading beats and you got to get real recording real mix and master because i like i tell them like i try to give them low prices but they don't take it but you mm -hmm. know you'd rather go to somebody who you don't know and pay that price but they don't mix your stuff right mm -hmm. and then you looking crazy you know right. what i'm saying you like man i should have messed with you man and, right. you know basically just trying to get everybody on the right path if they want to do that down at open like you know what so i'm saying like the a &R the hood. yeah you feel me fact, fact. so moving networking that's what's up man why do you think it's so hard for Opelika rappers to make it out of that area? 
not not enough networking, man. Nobody moving, everybody just staying in Opa Like that's really okay. the problem, you know, like no trips, no like really just going to network. If they really go out of the city, they probably don't open their mouth, you know, like walk up to somebody, hey, I'm such and such, you know, I do music, check me out, follow me. They don't do none of that, you know, it's just mm -hmm. hush mouth, you know, and closed mouths don't get fed, man. Man, you gotta get out of it, man. Travel, see the world, man. That's the only way you're gonna make it, cause them small markets, man, it's it's, it's real tough to make it out the small markets. Man, you're right, man. No entertainment down there either. But the one thing about the small area I like, bro, is when you can throw a concert. That's how you can really tell who supports you. Because right, everybody right. know everybody, bro. You're right, you're right. Like, so what type of style artist are you? I mean, I, I I really can't say. I'm in all genres. If you send me something and I'm rocking to it, I'm going to smash so we doing country now. Yeah, you know, anything. <laughs> Reggae, you Afro yeah, beat. whatever you send me, then I'm rocking. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you. Back. So what life situations influence you about what you write about? Basically, just like, you know, losing my little brother for a long time coming up and basically, like I was saying, seeing my mama like how she was and just basically know, you know, more about all the struggle and really getting out the mud, you know, from not getting a hand from nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like from just people telling me like, I'm going to be here and really one never there, you know what I'm saying? And they know they weren't there, you know, and that's the part that really killed me to make me grind stronger because, like, I really had to just isolate myself, you know, get away from everybody and just think, like, what I need to do and did I want to stop music? And I was like, nah, you can't stop no yeah. music. Yeah, I'm telling myself this every day because, like, it was it was killing me, the stuff I was going through, and, you know, I just thank God I made it out, man, you know what I'm saying? Right. So before rap, what was your, your, your income? Cause I'm pretty sure music is your full yeah. time. Keep it one thousand, man. <laughs> yeah, um, moving furniture, man. Yeah, okay. moving furniture. Yeah. Hold I, up, uh, furniture yeah. or the? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> real furniture, though. Okay, you know all right. Just making sure yeah, that's another slang. Yeah. I ain't heard that one before. Yeah, real so furniture, furniture, furniture. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you full time with the industry stuff. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. All right, so you got a uh, a label. I am, am I saying this correct, or is it more so your company? M uh, M two B M. BM. Yes, sir. Yeah, money to be made. How'd you yeah, come up with that basically, name? you know, I don't know, man. I'm always on some money to be made stuff every day, and I just started saying it, and I was like, well, that's going to be my brand. I need a brand. And I'm M2BM. Like, everybody got to know every day is money to be made. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. So when you mention the word brand, you got everything organized. You got yeah, your business yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah. I'm finna brand M2BM. Yeah, like I'm basically finna brand that now, but Mojo Entertainment's brand though. You yeah, got any artists brand. under that? Nah, nah. I mean, we really, I don't know what can we call it. Come, You know, coming up, we was a little group. You feel me? Uh -oh, but okay. you know how that goes, separate lives. You know, everybody don't want what you want. So, right, right. but everybody's still cool, you know, and I, I know they down to do music at any time, you know. What's one uh, artist that you would be willing to invest in to do a record with that you feel like might really help your career? And it doesn't have to be from Alabama, somebody yeah. outside of this artist that you want to work with long term. Uh, because once you make an investment, uh, I remember the baby spent 15000 on a, um, a Boosie verse. Now, look yeah. at it, you know, so yeah, you, you got to right. think long term. So, which one artist you would see yourself investing with right now? Uh, I mean, I, I vibe with everybody, you know. He probably out of my budget, you know, because I, I growed up listening to him with 50 Cent, man. 50 Cent. Yeah, no oh, that's cap, first, man. Get man. rich or die trying, you know you what I'm saying? That, you think 50 Cent will help it? Hey, man. The you know, old 50 Cent. Yeah, the old 50. I don't know about the yeah, new one, man. Yeah, the get rich or die trying, old 50. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about it now, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm rocking with 50. That get rich or die trying, never get classic, old. Classic, yeah, Classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so what singles do we got out now because... The surf on her, man, classic. I like the beat. It's got a bounce to it. It's yeah. got a, I want to say from a DJ's point of view, I'm talking DJ talk, BPM, I want to say it's around 120 and half of that, about 60. Yeah. So it's got a bounce of all that Young Thug and Gunna Hot record. You can blend it with that. Word. So how did you come up with the whole concept to that record? What made you call it surf on her? I mean, I, I, I think we were finna get ready to go to the beach, you know what I'm saying? The whole family finna get ready to go to Daytona, and I was just thinking about a lot of water, and, you know, shout out to Bam, by any me, my producer in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he basically sent me that beat, and I loaded it up, and it was just like two days before, and when I heard it, I was like, it was, I was just thinking about waves, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I just started saying she got away, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it just came to me, like, all quick, right, yeah. Right. Fact, fact, fact. So... What other single did you have before this? 
Um, nobody. Really a good, a great single. You know, did great numbers. The video did great numbers on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Song called Nobody. I made that beat. You know, I made beats too. So, yeah, I made that How beat. How long ago know? was this record put out? 2018, two years ago. So that was before Spotify and the streaming game became big. Yeah, yeah. So now that it's big, do you see the numbers going up because you dropped the new oh, yeah, record? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, yes, so sir. You, so you yes, can pay sir. it off this, right? Oh, yes, sir. All right, money to be made, man. <laughs> Got to, if Real to deal. <laughs> numbers are right. So I checked out the uh, the numbers on the video, Surf on Her. It said uh, almost at 10K. Yeah, it but was... The, uh, I got to speak about well, that. We're going to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, but yeah, the one yeah. thing that stood out, man, this is what really tripped me out, yo. When when I upload my stuff on YouTube, I never put the location to anything. Word, word. The location was our... <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, the location... I said, this nigga was at the Marriott getting it in, You cause. feel me? And they ain't come in and interrupt or nothing. You feel me? Like, living life in there, dog. And then the girls. I mean, I like them dark skin. Yeah. Oh, word, where it's So it, yeah. it was a, uh, it was a red bone in the background. Yeah, yeah, doing, yeah. doing a damn thing. So I was gonna ask you, um, the female, <laughs> what made you run with? How many? It was like three or two, right? It was like four for real. How yeah. did you pick the females to be in that video? Man, I ain't gonna lie, like my girl loved dancing anyway. You know what I'm saying? I had to control her. You okay. Yeah, she loved dancing anyway. But you know, far as that, her friend, you know what I'm saying? Her friend, and I, I pretty sure, I, well, I knew her friend was gonna, you know, come on and get on down with the train to get in the video because she was like, yeah, yeah, she was so amped before we even shot it, you know, so I knew she called me to be in it, man. Hey, Look, man you should have hit Frank know. up and said, yo, I got to get new air to come be in the video. <laughs> hey, I got your next I'm time. single now, bro. Oh, you know, okay. Do my I thing, got, I got you, I, I got have you. a bachelor party now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you can, hey, the part two remix. I got you. I got you. Fam. Remix. I promise. It's a remix me. coming though. Yeah. All right, I promise man. You. I got Make you. Make sure you have some dark skins. Man. I got you. I got I'm not you. being racist, but that's what I prefer. I got you. Fam. All right. So what can we expect after this single? Because the way it's looking now, I can see a remix coming. Yeah. 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 Who, like who you got a mind to put on it? Man. I ain't gonna lie, I've been talking about Rub Band OG for a minute, man. You Solid. know, cause I Real mess with dude. Alabama. Yeah, Solid. I mess with Alabama Heavy, and I like to really just keep it in Alabama because you know a lot of folks don't link up. You know what I'm saying? And when they see you grinding, you follow, they still just oh, they gonna worry about the distance. Yeah, like we ain't worried about him or whatever. But you know, you spend money, folks start watching, folks start mm. paying attention. Like, yeah, he dead serious, he ain't playing, you know. You mentioned the word right there, paying attention. And one thing I noticed um about your Instagram, you had a uh, a painting of Dobie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how close were you guys? I mean, I ain't really just up, you know what I'm saying? Even before I even met Frank White, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I met Frank White, I I met a lot of the CBM dudes, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't never get to meet Doe, so that would kill me. And I, yeah, man, so it when, killed me, So man. when Doe shot that uh, Let Me Find Out remix in the Gump, Juicy J was there, everybody was in certain Man, place. I probably was living up north, man. Man, no cap, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. movie. Yeah, I movie. already know. Shut the whole yeah. block down, bro. Yeah. Oh man, so CBM Lil Daddy, um, what's, yeah. what's somebody else in, the, in that circle? Um, CBM Lil Daddy, um, um, what's, what's his name? What's his name? Um, There's a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, One of them just dropped Nick a project. He, he used to use a little Nickelodeon. I'm trying to remember his name. He used to use a little Nickelode Nickelodeon little slogan a lot, man. But all of y'all tight, y'all good? I mean, I don't talk to him on no daily, but everything's smooth, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. everything's smooth. Okay, so the mixtapes you got out right now. The comeback one, the comeback two. What made you run with those titles? And what made you run with Frank White being there's so many DJs out here you could have put on the projects? Yeah, you're right. Um, basically, you know, me and Frank, we've been chatting up for a minute, you know, and and when I like really didn't put out no music for some, you know, years because I was going through the situation with losing my mama and, you know, like trying to find myself for real because that really what I had to do is find myself and, you know, amp myself up to continue this, you know, path after I lost my mama, you know, cause, but, you know, how they go if you, you know, if you still got your mama, thank God for that, you know, but, yeah, um, basically, you know, me and Frank was around each other, you know, Frank was going through a lot of, we, you know, we just, you know, click, like, and I'm like, yeah, bro, you know, I'm finna drop some the combat type stuff, you know, like, I need to let everybody know I'm coming back, you know, coming back hard, so, you know, me, you been going through some things, I know you still going through, you know, the Dobie situation too, man, so yeah, RIP to my, my family, yeah, back, yeah, so, you know. So he manages you, right? Yeah. Okay, so is that, that, that 
clicking? Is it working for you? Yeah, 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 man. We yeah, we 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 straight, man. Yeah, man. Frank, I was straight, curious, man. man. When you reached out to me, I said he must have Frank must send him my way or something. Like nah, that. I mean I was watching you for a little minute, you know, okay. like yeah, like I'm I'm a business guy. I ain't you know ain't scared to talk. Like I said, right. clothes mouth don't get fed, but when I hit you, I'm on some business like all the time. Yeah, so I've been mean, watching you, man. I tell people I ain't nobody, man. I ain't nobody. I'm just I'm just the DJ that spin records. That's all I do. Man, like they stop, say it on man. like they stop say it on uh, like that, that movie. Man. You ain't nobody, Blue. Man, man, I ain't stop, nobody, man. man. Stop, man. <laughs> stop, dude. All right, man. So I looked at your Instagram and I saw A and R of your own music. So is that like a a, a a company that pushes artists? What is yeah. that? Yeah, that's a company that pushes artists basically like you know, that's why I be telling local artists, you know, buy your beats, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I can send your song to these, you know, your own your music, and they can just buy the song from you, or you can, you know, make some money. But a lot of folks ain't buying no beats. They download them and, you know, yeah, putting it too, up, saying in my single, and you, you YouTube know. YouTube taking over the game, bro. Yeah. You can put your stuff on there, man, just hit download. Good to go, man. Uh, what other businesses are you tied to when it comes to the music industry? Basically, just engineer, yeah, engineer, making beats. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of engineer, and I record a lot of folks' songs. You know, I've been engineer since a jit. You know, since mm. from when it was just screaming. You know, when it didn't sound good, so I'm like, man, I gotta make this sound good. You know, and then I just started mastering. You know, so I ended up going to school for a year on it, but then she got pregnant. So yeah, I had How to. Oh yeah, been here, man. Since I was a jit, man. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Young, okay. young, yes. That's so, what's up, man. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. Life. So, man, you know, I had my little jit, you know. I So I went on and dropped on out, and I just really, really, really learned the stuff myself after that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, kept saying, like, I got to make it sound better every day. Every time I record, it got to sound better. It can't stay like it's sounding because I know it's something better or something I'm not doing. But, yeah, I engineer a lot of folks, though. So. Right, man. Real mojo in the building. I'm gonna Lord, ask you this: man. Are you registered to vote, man? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm registered to vote. Who we going with this year, man? Ooh, I really, mm. As you know, Kanye West jumped out there. Yeah, man. I don't know what's going <laughs> on right now. I think now, he man. did that to he get kinda, some album sales. Yeah, man. Get and, a little attention, you know. How do you feel about Kanye West running for president? Do you think the hood is for Kanye West? I don't really think the hood might be for Kanye West, you know, not the hood hood, but. What about Biden? Because, you know, Biden said, uh, if you have a problem figuring out whatever you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you're not black. How do you feel about that comment? Man, it's, it's kind of hard to go with it, man, because there's so much social media still getting put out to make you be like, I don't want to meet with that person. But see, this is the perfect wanna... time to, to put music out going around you know the debates of election and stuff because you yeah. gotta look at what the baby did you know well, you yeah, put yeah, a song yeah. right. out that's that's geared towards what people are going through in you society right. you right so you know do you have any music that's coming out that's geared towards what's been going oh, on yeah. for the past three yeah. years when it yeah, comes down you to can, black um, lives matters and all that yeah i got um i got a little single i put on platform called joy floyd yeah you can go you can check that out man just stream it the real mojo just look that up but it's nice though right, can man. we get like a snippet of it right quick without the beat can we get a snippet <laughs> of it I mean, it's your music. It's your time to shine, baby. It's what we do. <laughs> Get a snippet of it right quick. It's like, I on with 12, start a ride of protest chain shit. Want a silent jail. President ordering that murder shit. Third degree, what the fuck? Ah, come on, come on, keep it going, it. keep it going. Third degree, what the fuck? I'm like, give him some water. Give him yeah, some water. I was, no, I'm, I'm sorry, cause like I really did this for you know what I'm saying, the people. And, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. It's all like, good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. My the real mojos yeah, in the yeah, building. Yeah, new era TV. Be but yeah, you can go screen that though. Screen yeah, it, man. Screen that, and you'll yeah. Good note to the people though, man. Yeah, right. straight up. All right, so here on New Era TV, we do this segment called Straight from the Heart, man. I ask you a set of questions. You give me your honest answer, bro. Yeah. All right, so question one: Would you rather be love or fear? I'd rather be loved, you feel me? Like, well, you love. really gotta feel me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm always, like, like I said, I done came from the mud, I done came from the struggle, so I'd rather help in any way I can, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was just big in the industry right now, and you know, you ain't have no money, and I just felt like, you know, you had that grind of that, like, yeah, I'm looking everywhere. It ain't just like, I'm gonna be looking at one city, or nothing like that, I'm looking everywhere around the world, and if I got the money, I'm helping you, you know what I'm saying? No matter where you at, it's just like, 
instead of the same state or mm. same city all the time. No, I is gonna be everywhere to help people. So I'd rather yeah. be loved. Humble man, sound like a humble dude, man. I fucks with it. All right, second question: best piece of advice you've ever received? Just never give up, no matter how long it take. You know what I'm saying? Just stay on the grind, man. What was one thing about your your job? You said you had a job moving furniture that yeah. you just hated to do every day. No, I ain't really hate it, man, because you know I had a lot of side hustles. So I ain't, okay. Yeah, I ain't really hate it. You know, I, 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 you know, I still can do it to this day. You feel me? Yeah. Like that, that really wasn't nothing, you know. But it basically taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Taught me to just, you know, persevere through everything. Just like go straight through it. Like no matter if you feel like you can't do it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like taking inclined couches up like four stories. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't, yeah, it ain't light though. Like mm -hmm. you gotta be strong. Gotta, gotta be, be working in out. Shape, yeah, man. Like, cause <laughs> you drop they stuff like yeah, you now. Look, they yeah, looking at you yeah, crazy. Like now it's out of your chick, and then yeah, now you lost wow. then. Yeah, so you gotta know how to do that to do that though. So. All right, good answer. All right, next question. What are a few things you dislike about the music industry? I mean, you can be scammed easy, you know, spending your man, money. Tell me about it, bro. <laughs> Look, man, I tell you, I mean, to cut you, I tell you a story, man. Um, the R. Kelly victims, um, the one that, not the one that's out. Well, it's like two of them that's still kind of messed up in the head. Yeah. Um, they created an Instagram. It was like, yo, we doing video drops for anybody that want it. Send me a hundred dollars. I hopped on it fast. You think I got that drop, bro? It happened. <laughs> yeah, man. They have, yeah, man. That's how they do, man. So you said scamming. What's one more? Yeah, yeah. scamming and uh, basically just like you go. You got to know the business because you know, like, trying say for instance, you're trying to get a future, and you know somebody hit you with like basically what you said. You know what I'm saying? Like a little price, and you shoot it to them, and then now you got to take a loss. You know, basically like one of your homies advised you to go. You know, hey man, holly old boy, he be around such and such, man. I'm telling you, he'll get you a verse for the low, whatever, you know, and then you take care of your end, but then you you, you don't never, you know, like that drop. You'll never hear you back hear it. From it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a loss. Yeah. yeah, it's an L. So All right. If you can go back in time, what would you tell your thirteen year old self? Slow down, stay focused, and get to the money the right way. Get to the money. All right. One album you can listen to the rest of your life and never get rid of. <laughs> I kind of said it earlier, man, but I ain't, you know, I'm going to stay on it, man. Get rich or die trying, dog. Exit, man. Yeah, All man. right, you, you on that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about the soundtrack to the movie, though? That one that had Window Shopper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The Massacre. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I know it. Yeah. Trust you me. think you from the NY, man. <laughs> no. I'm, man, the, I'm expecting a T.I. or a G.V. <laughs> or something like that. You know, so oh, I mess with them, though. But, I, yeah, I grew up around, like, you know, a family that's listened to old school a lot. So I got on, like, all the old school rappers. And 50 was just one of the ones that was just, when they in the club, that go, they just came. Like, it just was old. And then I'm like, okay, who is this? You feel me? This yeah. man going crazy. Crazy yeah. in the video. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, last question, man. Um, what do you see yourself in two years? Real wealth and taking care of everybody I need to. Fat man. Yes, sir. In Real mojo in the building. Album on the EP on the way. Yes, sir. Seven tracks. Yes, sir. Built not born. Built EP not born. Yes, Single sir. out right now. Surf on her. Yes, sir. Go stream that right now. ASAP. I'm shocked that wifey's in the video. I fucks with that though. I fucks with it. Mad support. I right, give out your social media, man. Tell folks how to reach you, how to book you. We doing it all, man, up here. Oh yeah, man. You can book me at M O J O S I C K at Gmail. You can follow me at D A R E A L M O J O on all platforms, but Twitter M O J O E N T six. You know what I'm saying? So get at me ASAP. Yeah, we need them blue checks, Instagram, man. New Era TV, iHeartRadio, The Real Mojo. Appreciate you coming through, dog. You know, I appreciate you, DJ New Era, man. Oh, stumble the name. Uh-oh, oh, 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 look. DJ New Era, man. Uh -oh, I'm, calling Frank, Frank, I'm calling no, Frank right now. Shout out New Frank. Era TV, man. Shout out New Era TV, man. AE, man. A3 so, Entertainment, man. We out.